Hey everybody! In this new video series, we are going to talk about fundamental Fortnite skills that even experienced players often miss. If you feel like you've reached a plateau in your gameplay that you just can't break through, it's likely that you have missed something very small but also very necessary for mastering higher level mechanics. In this video, we are going to break down the edit swap mechanic in Fortnite. I have personally coached a surprising number of intermediate and advanced level players who never learned this technique. Players who regularly compete in tournaments, players who always reach Champion League of Arena, a shocking number of these experienced players never learned that you can change one edit into another without fully resetting the build first. This strategy will make your peace control much more effective, it will make your edits smoother and more controlled, and it will also open up brand new ways for you to make peaks, flip ramps, and climb while protecting your head. The basic idea here is very simple. Place a wall and edit a right window. Next, press your edit button and look at the two options that appear on the wall. You have an option to confirm the edit and an option to reset the edit. When you press the reset button, any gray tiles will turn blue. Now you're ready to select new tiles and confirm a different edit. Here you can see I can swap between middle windows and right windows much more quickly than a player who resets the wall completely between the edits. Here's what edit swaps look like when we slow down each input. You edit, reset, select new tiles, and then confirm the new edit. If you play with confirm on release editing, you would of course just release off of your trigger or left click to confirm that new edit. Every player is capable of using this technique regardless of what platform or input you play on. Console, PC, mobile, and Nintendo Switch players can all do it. The only players who can't do this are mouse and keyboard players who made a terrible mistake when they first set up scroll wheel reset. To fix this, go into your keybind settings, scroll down to the bottom of the building section, and look at your binds for building edit and reset building edit. For building edit, you should have your edit key as your primary, and scroll wheel down as your secondary. For reset building edit, you should also have two bindings, your main reset bind, which you will use for this technique, and also scroll wheel down so you can still reset builds completely. If you select edits with left click, I recommend using right click as your primary reset bind. Now you should be able to start an edit, press your reset bind, select new tiles, and confirm the new edit. Now that everybody understands how to use the edit swap mechanic, you should practice using edit swaps in a few common situations. First, try making different edits using walls, cones, and floors. Edit swaps makes it much more difficult for your opponent to predict your next move. One common strategy is changing a peanut butter edit to bait a player trying to jump inside your box. Next, try using edit swaps for common peace control drills. Instead of making three edits, you can save time by making two. You can even use edit swaps to climb safely by editing cones. Place a floor and cone, edit both of them like this. As you run forward up a ramp, start editing the cone and edit swap as you jump. This gives you a fast and protected technique for climbing straight up. You can even add extra walls and another cone on top after making the first cone edit. Here's what that technique looks like from your opponent's perspective. There are many different ways to use edit swapping. It's really just an overall quality of life improvement for players who have practiced it. So get into creative mode and try it out. I promise it will improve your gameplay and it will make it much easier for you to master more advanced strategies in the future. It might be helpful to see edit swaps broken down in real fights before you try to use it yourself. In this example, you can see I'm using my cone to protect myself. Instead of resetting the cone completely, I can use edit swapping to change the cone edit and find a good angle. 
Now see if you can recognize the edit swaps in these next few clips. Thank you all for using code BillyBicep in the item shop. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. You want a storm fight? You don't want a storm fight. <laughs>